Welcome to Medical Therapeutic Yoga with Dr. Ginger Garner. In this practice, we'll be learning Arm Spiral. It's a pre-posture for identifying and working through upper extremity, impairment or pain or prevention of injury. It can be similar to windshield wipers for the trunk and the lower extremities. First, start in hook line, knees bent and feet flat. Second, make sure you're in spinal neutral. See how my back isn't flat against the ground, but is honoring that small curve in the low back that you have when you're in standing. So finding spinal neutral, we'll turn the palms up and face the elbow up. Then leaving the face or the front of the elbow facing towards the top of the head, you'll turn the palms down. As I'm demonstrating. You shouldn't have any tugging or pulling through the soft tissue of the chest or the arms, and you shouldn't have any numbness, tingling, change in sensation, or hot or cold feelings into the fingertips. If you do, this is something for your therapist to evaluate further. Otherwise, begin to extend the wrist, which is bringing the fingers up towards the top of the head, to check for any of the pulling, tugging, or nerve type symptoms. If you find those to happen here, and they go away after stopping arm spiral, then you may be able to practice those, this is called nerve flossing or gliding, until those signs and symptoms recede. But do see your therapist if you have any changes in sensation in the hands or the arms when doing this. You can progress to seated and repeat with the arms at about 45 degrees out to your sides. The face of the elbow points up skyward and then the palms will point down. The wrists will begin to slowly extend and you'll check for the same progress with the face of the elbow pointing up. You should be able to slowly, slowly extend the wrists and not have any changes in sensation in the arms. However, this isn't the case in many situations, so monitor that closely. Later, you can progress to the arms being at 90 degrees. The slower you move, the more you'll notice, and the more effective that your therapy will be. You can also include cervical spine range of motion, turn the head to one side or the other, to see if any of those signs or symptoms of the soft tissue or nerves increase. Make sure that you're maintaining a neutral spine. This is a practice that is formative to building medical therapeutic yoga postures. It's used in supine and seated postures, like where the hands or arms are on the ground, like in a downward facing dog, or when the hands are in the air, like standing postures. Thanks for joining me.